I'm Emily from Minerva Arts and I'm going to share with you a crafty little workshop on how you can create your own love and equality wreath um, to celebrate Chester's Pride Festival this month. So what you need to do is gather all your materials together because we're going to be getting creative with lots of colour. Um, so the base of this wreath is going to be pom-poms. I love a good pom-pom. They're so easy to make and super fun and you can just make lots of different things with them. Um, so that's what we're going to be making to form, to put around our wreath. So we need quite a bit of wool for this project in a range of colours. So I've gone with the seven colours of the rainbow for my wreath to reflect the colours of pride. Um, but you can use whatever you want really, whatever colours you want. So the colours that I've got of wool, I've got yellow, blue, pink, orange, quite questionable orange, I could say red, um, but it's what I could find for orange, so we'll go with that. Then I've got red, so it does contrast against the orange, um, green and purple. So those are my colours of wool. Wool is pretty easy to get hold of. Um, if you don't have any already yourselves, then ask around, ask friends, family members, people that you know, because they might have some wool that they don't use anymore, tucked away. Um, and it's really nice, obviously, to bring some life into it and actually create something with it. Um, so ask around, but you can also get it. I get a lot of my wool in charity shops. So you can also have a look through your, your local charity shops and you'll probably find a lot of wool there. Um, and you can get it in, in a lot of stores as well. And obviously at craft, craft stores like Hobbycraft. Um, so that's your wool. And then you're going to need a base for your wreath. So you're going to need some kind of hoop. So I've got here an embroidery hoop comes in really handy for this type of thing. So these these are quite easy to get hold of again. Um, they have them quite often in charity shops that people have donated um, or they have them in, in again, a lot of craft stores and, and other types of stores as well. So you are gonna need something like this. You can use, you can get the um, hoops that are like metal, copper metal or whatever, they work absolutely fine as well. So anything that, any kind of hoop base that you can use. You don't wanna go with a big hula hoop that you can do some projects with that you've probably seen um, because that's just going to be too big and that's going to probably take you all year to make all those pom-poms so keep it nice and small so that's your hoop you're going to need something to make your pom-poms with so I've got a pom-pom maker that I use all the time and um, so obviously if you make them quite a bit then it's really handy to have something like this because you can keep reusing this but you can also make your own pom-pom maker so I'm going to show you how how to do that very easy and then how to use it to make pom-poms. So for that, you'll need a piece of cardboard and you're going to need something that you can draw around to create your circular template. So that's just an old tin um, that I've used as a pencil pot, but you know you can draw around that and that will give you the right size for your template. So something to draw around as well as your cardboard. You're gonna need some scissors to cut everything that you're cutting. I've got here two pairs of scissors. I've got some fabric scissors because they're really good at getting a nice, neat and tidy pom-pom, um, but they're not essential. Um, just a pair of scissors, any pair will, will work perfectly fine and will um, allow you to create it really nicely as well. Um, and then a piece of paper or card, I've got a piece of card so it's a bit thicker, but whatever you've got, and you can use any type of colour for that. So just grab yourselves a piece of that. And then if you've got some colours at home, if you've got some pens and pencils coloured, then great, grab those. You don't need them, um, but it's just going to give a bit more colour to something that we're going to add to the inside of the wreath once it's finished. And that's everything that you're going to need to start your wreath. So now we're going to get on and start looking at making our pom-poms. So I'm going to show you first of all how you can make your own pom-pom maker and then how you can make a pom-pom using that. So if you grab your piece of cardboard and something to draw around and you want to pop that on top of your cardboard and you're then going to grab a pencil and you're going to draw all the way around your circular template. So you'll have a circle on there and then you're going to cut. 
you're going to cut around the line that you've drawn. Okay, and then you'll have a circular piece of cardboard. What you're going to want to do is you need to put a little slit in there so that you can get inside it. And you're going to need to cut another small circle inside so that you've got a hole inside your circle. Um, the best way to do it, it doesn't have to be a perfect circle, but the best way to do it is probably draw out a small circle that you can cut around inside in the middle. So you kind of know where it's going to be. And it's in the centre of that circle itself. But you don't want it to be too big because otherwise your pom-pom could fall apart easily. So you, cut, you draw your circle and then you're going to cut a slip through and then cut around that circle inside, which can be a little bit tricky because you're trying to manoeuvre around a small area with your scissors. a bit like that you want to make sure that the slit that goes into it is a bit bigger a bit a bit of a, a wider gap not too wide but a little bit wider so we'll go with that because you're feeding your wool through there when you're going to start making your pom-pom so pick the color that you want to start with I'm going to grab the purple wool and all you're going to do you're going to hold your piece of wool there with your finger, your end, so that it's staying in place. And then you're going to wrap this wool around the circle, like so, and that will tie in that end. So then you don't have to hold on to it. So you're going to go like this all the way around the circle. Keep it nice and tight, because the tighter you wrap it, the better pom-pom you'll get in the end. And you're going to want to use quite a bit of wool so the thicker you wrap the wool, the more fluffy pom-pom you'll get. So you do need to make sure that you wrap it quite thick. I will show you that when I've done it. So if you start wrapping around, your piece of cardboard then you are just going to want to just snip the end of it and hold that end in now what you're going to do you need to get cutting now and you are going to cut all the way around this part of your wool keeping your scissors next to the cardboard so you're going to cut all the way around your scissors will be going inside here so this can be quite tricky to get the scissors through quite a few layers of wool. But you also want to hold it together. Now when you're cutting it, if this middle bit is open, then the wool can just all fall apart and everything will fall off your cardboard. So you want to try and keep that middle section nice and tightly closed together. So maybe you can put your thumb in the middle to keep it all together until you're going to tie it up so nothing can fall apart. So you're just going to take your scissors and you're going to cut around the outside, being careful to keep everything together. You're just going to cut like that all the way around. You should have then gone through all the way around the cardboard and cut through. Now we need to tie this together before it all falls apart. So what you need to grab, be very careful when you're putting your pom-pom down so nothing's falling out. You're going to gra grab a, the same colour of wool again and take a longish piece of that. So cut a longish piece of that. And you're going to wrap this piece of wool around one half of your pom-pom. So you're following the line of the cardboard again. 
but you need to be careful not to let it break apart. So you're going to tie it in there, your wool in there, all the way around. So place your wool in first, make sure it's going in the place that you want it to go. So in the line of the cardboard, tying in all of the wool on that side. So just to show you where I'm up to, I've put my wool all around the outside here and I'm now just going to tie that super tight, very, very tight. Once you've done that, you can remove your cardboard gently and there you have a pom-pom. As easy as that. All you need to do, carefully though, is fluff it up and trim your edges so that you've got a tidier pom-pom. So for, for doing this, the piece that you've tied around the outside of your pom-pom, you're gonna use that to hold on to because you know that by pulling that, that isn't gonna pull anything out because that's the piece that's tied around the outside. So you can hold it by that bit and that's the bit that you're going to tie it onto your wreath with. So you need to keep those pieces nice and long. And you're then going to tidy up your pom-pom by trimming all around the outside. So grab your scissors and you're going to give it a lovely trim. This is the point that will get very messy because you'll have wool everywhere all over your table, especially by the end of you creating your wreath, but it will be worth it. There you go. Once you're happy with your pom-pom, then that's going to be ready to place on your wreath once you've got all the others. So get pom-pom making. Now you know how to make one. You can either use your pom-pom maker if you have, or you can use that piece of cardboard like I've just shown you. Um, so now you want to make all of your pom-poms. And I would recommend, if you're going to do the seven colours like I've done, I would probably make, make two of each, and then we'll see if that's going to be enough. If not, then we can make an extra few. So make two of each colour pom-pom. So once you have made all of your pom-poms and you've got lots of lovely coloured pom-poms to make your creation, you are then going to start assembling your wreath. So you can start putting it all together and tying them around the hoop that you've got. So you've got your hoop and you've got your pom-poms. So we're going to start, I'm going to start with red. You should have 14 pom-poms altogether if you've gone with the suggested amount um, that I mentioned and that is going to be enough to fill the hoop um, so that's fab. So you're going to start with your first pom-pom, a red one, and you're simply going to tie it around your hoop like this, nice and tightly and secure. So tie it once and then put it into a knot so it's not going to move anywhere or slide along the hoop as well. It's quite handy if it's as tight and secure as you can get it. So when you hold your hoop up, the pom-pom stays in place. Now when they're all on there, they are going to stay in place anyway because they're all going to be squashed together. But we want it to be nice and secure. And we're going to do that with all of the different colours. So we fill our wreath with all of our pom-poms. Then you're going to need to trim all these loose ends off because you don't need them anymore. So grab your scissors and get trimming all these loose ends off that you've just tied your pom-poms on with. So I've done snipping round. I just need to kind of position my pom-poms so they're all on the same side of the hoop. Move them in a little bit, do a bit of tidying round, but we've got a bit of time to do some last minute adjustments. 
before we're finished anyway and you should have something that looks like that. The final addition to your piece is going to allow you to personalise it even more. So what you're going to need now for this last bit is your piece of card or paper. So grab that um, and if you're using coloured pens and pencils and just grab a pair of scissors. You're going to add a, a sign for the centre of your wreath, a love sign. So how you're going to do this, you need a smaller piece than this. You're going to have to cut this down a bit smaller. And you're going to go for quite a wide rectangle. So just fold your paper or card. That sort of depth is probably about right that you're going to want to place into the middle. So once you've folded it, you can then cut along that folded edge. So grab your scissors. Cut along that folded edge so that you've got that rectangle there. Now we're going to give it, we're going to maybe swirl it a little bit and give it a bit of a wave. So you can just do this freehand, just grab your scissors and just go along the top line, just give it a wave and then you're going to do the same following the edge at the bottom. So you've got a nice wavy strip that you can use for your sign. There you go, so like that. So once you have this, you can give it some colour. So as you can see, I've added some rainbow colours to my strip. And all I need to add now is some text. So we are going to add to this the words love and is and dot dot dot. So this is what we're going to add to this, which is going to go into the centre of our wreath. So whatever way you want to do that, pen, pencil, however, again, be creative and, you know, explore whatever way you want to do that. Once that's completed... Um, there you have it, your sign that you're going to add to the centre of your wreath. So we are going to grab a pencil, a sharpish pen pencil, and we're going to poke a hole through each side of the sign. Push a hole through and the same on the other side. Grab a piece of your wool. So you need a longer piece of wool, so you can cut a piece, it doesn't matter what colour that is. You're just going to want to cut a length of wool. Make sure it's long enough, so go longer than, than what you'd think, so you've got extra um, to tie around. And then you're going to feed that wool through the hole on both sides. An easier way to do this is to use your pencil to get that wool through. So like you poked it through to make the hole, poke the pencil through to push the wool through. And the same on the other side. Through the hole, pull your wool through. There you go. You have your love is sign that you're going to add to finalize your piece. You are now going to tie this to the hoop and you're going to go in the centre of the wreath underneath where the pom-poms are. So give that good tie into the centre there. And then you have your sign in the middle. 
Now, when this is hanging on the wall or on the door, that's going to hang straight for you. So now you have your finished wreath. You just need to put something on there so you can hang it up and display it for everybody to see and for you to admire. Um, so just grab something that you can hang it with. So you can use wool. That's going to be fine because it's not heavy. If you've got some string you want to use or maybe some ribbon, I've got some really nice green glittery ribbon that I'm going to use to hang mine. So just find where your top is so that it's going to, you're hanging it in the centre at the top and you're just going to tie your ribbon. And there you have your finished love and the quality wreath all ready for you to hang in celebration of Chester's Pride Festival. So get hanging. We would absolutely love to see your creations. So if you want to, you can comment with pictures of your finished pieces. Um, on this video, you can put a comment and share with us what love is to you. You can also um, add the hashtag love is Chester Pride and we can follow and have a look at your projects on your social media as well. And also if you want to follow Minerva Arts and Chester Pride on social media and see all the fabulous things that are going on this year. So that's it from me. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you've enjoyed getting crafty and creative with me. Thank you.